The board has Chief Mrs. Flora Ilonzo of Center for Psychic and Healing Administration, Oka, as the chairperson. The general secretary as Dr. Wale Akim, financial secretary, Reverend Father Jude Okoye, among others. During the event, the executive director, Anambra State Indigenous Medicine and Herbal Practice, Dr. Daniel Ejie, outlined the expectations of government from traditional medicine practitioners to include collection of their biometrics, inspection of their practice, and where they practice to ensure hygiene. He added that each of them is also expected to get a license, identification card, and have that number for the medicine they produce, all in the quest to ensure best global practice. Dr. Ejie further noted that any of the practitioners who refuse to give governments access for inspection will be drastically dealt with according to the law. You know, in the past, the Haba Mesin and Umbra states is a, is a kind of a mixed up. People are practicing the way they want. So now, we now looked at it that there should be a way of uh, using what we call a sieving uh, method, separating the chaff from the corn. Exactly what we are trying to do, or what we started already. In an acceptance speech, Chief Mrs. Ilonzo went down memory lane of her life journey in herbal medicine practice and affirmed that they will make remarkable impacts. Now you can achieve something, Gapalo or Wahoo. Traditional medicine, you will give you Umbele, Okoti, Oganano, Oku Biafra. For the accountant, Anambra State Indigenous Medicine, Mr. Chinere Udom Mado, the traditional medicine practitioners should forget bygones and form a united front in order for them to be reckoned with in traditional medicine practice within and outside Nigeria. <laughs> The National Vice President Southeast National Association of Nigeria Traditional Medicine Practice, Dr. Eugene Eyili, commended the government for the initiative but pointed out the need to carry out the expectations step by step. In their separate comments, Dr. Patrick Okoye and Dr. Mrs. Onyebuchi Okoli said that the biometrics is a noble idea which should be decentralized and asked Ndibu to return to their roots for longevity. Others who spoke include Dr. Namde Wakozo, Chief Vicent Mbanugo, Honorable Dr. Willie Arinze, among others. Inauguration proper and group photographs featured during the event. Queen Anibogo, ABS News.